Hey everybody, it's Darren here. Um, doing video number three. So, thought I'd do it a little something a little different um, because I'm Canadian. Uh, I got a lot of Canadian stuff. Uh, I thought I would do a, a Canadian edition. So, this one is going to be Canadian bands that I have on vinyl A through F, I believe. So, we'll start right away. The first one. April Wine, Nature of the Beast, great album, even, you can tell it's Canadian, Sam the Record Man, I mean, come on, that was a staple here in Canada for, oh, for years, Sam the Record Man, um, uh, Sunrise Records, you had, and then you got HMV in Toronto, but all these just these record shops that were around when I was a kid. We'd go uptown, spend our allowance on our on on, on music. So, anyways, I figured I'd pull out a bunch. Um, I got a pile of um, April Wine records, but I figured I'd do one or two of the band just to kind of give you an idea. So, again, April Wine, Nature of the Beast. April Wine, live at the Elma Combo, which is, uh, it was um, a club in Toronto that all the bands would play for. I think Skid Row played there, Slick Toxic played there, Saga, I think Rush even played there, uh, Triumph, any band that came through Toronto that was doing the club scene, Gatto, um, all these bands that would float through the Elma Combo, uh, Rock and Roll Heaven, The Gasworks, just all these spots up there. Um, Alda Nova. I have this one. And of course, that one. This one's got fantasy on it. Um, Heart to Heart, Fooling Yourself, Under the Gun. Just This is a great album. And this one, I believe, was the second his second record. And it's got um, Hold Back the Night, uh, Monkey on Your Back. This one took me a bit to find in good shape, actually. I kind of hunted for it. Anyways, Aldenova from, if I believe he's from Montreal, Quebec. Now, the first and best, in my opinion, Anvil Records. The first three are just, these are the, the to me, those are the best Anvil Records. Um, I know, uh, Scott Waters just, uh, acquired a nice little piece of vinyl, uh, which I believe was that album, but the original title of the band, which is called Lips, after the lead singer. Lips. Anyways, it's, it's this album, I believe, but with that moniker, and, um... He showed me that a little while ago on uh, when I was chatting with him on Facebook. Oh boy, Scott, you ever want to get rid of it? It can come back to Canada. <laughs> uh, another one, Annihilator. Now, for some reason, this is the only Annihilator I have on record. I kind of got into these guys, and then I kind of got out of them as fast as I got into them. I wasn't a huge fan of their. I think it was Never Neverland album. It wasn't. It was the second album, anyways. I kind of died out. Uh, if I remember, um, Randy Rampage wasn't singing, and I don't know for some reason I just kind of fell by the wayside. Although, and now in later years I've kind of gotten back into them. You know, Scott um, Jeff Waters has put out a ton of stuff. They just and great, great, great guitar playing. You guys are an amazing guitar player. Anyways, uh, so I highly recommend this one. This is, to me, is their is their best one. It's their first album. And I believe he's from Vancouver. No, Ottawa. Sorry, Ottawa. Now, another one that I have um, is a technical death metal band from uh, Quebec. And that's called Beyond Creation. Um, this one's Earthbound Evolution. And it took me a while to hunt this one down. I think this is the second pressing of the Aura. Um, this is a double album, but in a single jacket, whereas this one is a uh, double gatefold. 
and I believe it's on colored vinyl. If I remember, yeah, it's on colored vinyl. It's on um, like a bronzy colored vinyl, if you can see. Um, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. If you're into if you're into death metal and you're into the technical side, like gore guts and um, along the lines of that stuff, um, I just seriously highly recommend this band uh, beyond creation um, just like I said excellent excellent stuff um, out of Quebec now here I'll put that away later and their second album or their first that's their second album this is their first album um, I can't remember if this is just on black vinyl I think it is. Yeah, it's just on black vinyl. Yeah, just black vinyl. Um, but it's single, uh, no gatefold. Um, yeah. Next one. Now, if you're into classic rock, I should move this. If you're into classic rock and you don't have anything from from this guy. Oh, I'm screwing this up here. Hold on. You don't have anything from this guy. Hello, I'm back again. If you don't have anything from this guy, I mean, great stuff. Just rock and roll. Brian Adams. Best song on here, Run To You. I mean, I have that one. I have that one. I picked him up in the dollar bin. I mean, for a buck. A couple of songs. Like This, is, this has got um, <sighs> Heaven, uh, Run To You, Summer of 69, just, it's a great album. It was a dollar. Same with this uh, Cuts Like a Knife. It was a dollar. Good stuff. Um, now, this stuff. I didn't get into this until years and years later. Uh, again, picked these up in the dollar bin as well. Uh, these are uh, local boys. These are guys are from around here, St. Catharines, Niagara Falls area. Back here in, in, at home. Brighton Rock. Uh, I think these are the first two records. I know this is the first record. Uh, or is this one? I can't remember. I, like I said, I picked them up. They were in the dollar bin. Uh, typical hair metal, if you're into it. Um, it's not. They're not bad records. They're not bad. You throw them on once in a while, and you just... Whatever. I know my buddy Chris just loves these guys, too. Um, yeah. Canadian staple. BTO. Taking care of business. Although this isn't taking care of business. Um, I think this is one of their earlier albums. Again, Dollar Bin. I ran across it at my uh, the local record shop, the Niagara Records here in town, uptown. Um, yeah, a buck. Can't go wrong. I just love leafing through. And, like, the vinyl's in great shape. Cover might be a little bit, um, you know, harder, but, you know, the vinyl's always in great shape. Crystal clear sound. You know, for a buck, you can afford to I pick it up and everything. Anyways, um, another technical death metal band from the 80s. Um, and they're from Quebec. DBC. Dead Brain Cells. I had a, a buddy of mine when I was a kid had this one and he dubbed it for me on tape back when you could you taped your, your records and you had left them on the shelf. And I've been a fan ever since. I found these. Um reasonably priced I think uh, I got this one here for more on music and I might have got this one on the, on eBay or something like that but easy I think it was 10 this one was 10 bucks and maybe the other one was 10 bucks too I can't remember but typical or uh, not typical um, just intricate kind of death metal -y, thrash kind of stuff good stuff um, next one Daniel Band Excellent, excellent Christian metal, hard rock, really good stuff. They they tour, or they played around here for years, and I think in the eighties. Scott, you would know these guys for sure. Um, probably could say more about them than I could. Um, but yeah, great stuff. I mean, just really good stuff. <clears throat> now, this is one of my favorite. 
speed metal bands of all time, and they are Canadian, and they would be Exciter. Just, and I like the original Exciter. The, the newer stuff is, is good. It's really good. Uh, but there's something with Dan, uh, Dan's voice, Dan Bueller's voice. It's just, just grinding. It's just awesome. I just love it. Um, I forget where I got this one. My wife bought me this one. We were walking through the record shop the one day and I spotted it. It's on Megaforce Records. It's, um, copy 419 of 500. And this one is on, um, black and red, pink, splatter, sunburst, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a sunburst, really. Excellent album. But I spotted it, and I said to my wife, I said, oh, can you buy that for me, blah, blah, blah. So she bought it for me, and, um, she's bought me a few albums over the, the last few years. Um, yeah. Excellent, excellent band. My favorite album from them is Violence and Force. And I, unfortunately, I have it on, or I don't have it on album, but I do have it on disc. And, um, and digital download as well. Um, I'm yet to buy it. This one's just straight black as well. And the last one that I've got up to show is, uh, they're a hardcore band. So I've got everything in here from classic rock to thrash to metal to death metal to hard um, hardcore. Now these guys are like a hardcore band. Figure Four, they're out of Winnipeg. A um, couple of the guys I believe in this band uh, went on to form, or they're from Comeback Kid, which is another band from Canada. Uh, I don't have any of their stuff. They're more like a punky kind of thing and if i remember correctly this is a colored vinyl this is colored vinyl as well um i picked this up relatively cheap i think i paid 12 or 13 bucks for it yeah this is a cool color kind of whatever i don't know what color you'd call that like a almost like an amber color i guess like a deep amber and almost like a, a deep beer amber color with some uh black grainy things through it Anyways, um, so yeah, that's my Canadian content, A to F. Now I'm going to do another one so I can go from F to Z, but I'll, I'll do the, um, I'll break it down and I'll probably do, because I got other stuff, I got like tons and tons and tons of Rush, and I'm going to do a video of straight Rush, and I got all the Triumph and stuff like that, so, but... For now, I'm just going to go through, this is what I'm going to go through now, and I'll show you. Canadian content, video number three. Thanks. And any any comments or anything, just put below here. Um, and any any suggestions to make the videos a little better, the lighting kind of sucks down here, but it's the basement. What do you want? Um, more like raw black metal style, like whatever. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so video number three is out. You guys have a good day, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.